Jugular venous pressure, or JVP, is a measurement of the highest oscillation point, or meniscus, of the jugular venous pulsations. This measurement reflects pressure in the right atrium, that is, central venous pressure. The JVP also provides valuable information about the patient's volume status and cardiac function. Estimating the patient's JVP is one of the most important and frequently used skills of physical examination, and often the first step in your cardiovascular assessment. The JVP is best assessed from pulsations in the right internal jugular vein. Adjust the head of the examining table to 30 degrees. With the patient supine, place the patient's head on a pillow just to the top of the shoulders to relax the sternomastoid muscles. Then adjust the patient's gown and drape as necessary. Examine both sides of the neck. Then turn the patient's head slightly to the left since the physical examination is conducted from the patient's right side. Focusing on the right side, identify the external jugular vein. Then find the internal jugular venous pulsations. If necessary, raise or lower the head of the bed until you can see the oscillation point of the internal jugular venous pulsations in the lower half of the neck. Look for the oscillation point along the sternomastoid muscle between the clavicle and the angle of the jaw or just posterior to the sternomastoid. Internal jugular pulsations have a soft, undulating quality, usually with three elevations per heartbeat, two of which are visible, and two troughs, whereas the carotid pulse has a more vigorous thrust with a single outward component. Internal jugular pulsations are rarely palpable, whereas the carotid pulse is almost always palpable. Internal jugular pulsations are eliminated by light pressure on the vein just above the clavicle, whereas the carotid pulse is not eliminated by the pressure. The level of internal jugular pulsations changes with position. In a euvolemic patient, the level in the neck drops as the patient becomes more upright, whereas the carotid pulse is unchanged by position. Finally, the level of internal jugular pulsations usually falls with inspiration, whereas the carotid pulse is not affected by inspiration. Measure the oscillation point of pulsation in the right internal jugular vein using the following technique. Extend an elongated rectangular object, such as a 3x5 card, from the meniscus point of pulsation, while extending a centimeter ruler vertically from the sternal angle making a right angle. To establish the true vertical and horizontal lines, place your ruler on the sternal angle and line it up with a vertical line in the room. Then place your card or other rectangular object at an exact right angle to the ruler. This constitutes your horizontal line. Make sure one edge of the card is at the point of oscillation of the jugular venous pulsations, making sure to keep the card horizontal. Read the vertical distance where the card crosses the ruler. This measurement identifies the jugular venous pressure, or JVP, the vertical distance in centimeters above the sternal angle where your card crosses the ruler. Round your measurement off to the nearest centimeter. In this patient, the JVP is about 2 centimeters above the sternal angle. Venous pressure is elevated above normal when it measures at greater than 3 to 4 centimeters above the sternal angle with the bed elevated to 30 degrees or more than 7 to 8 centimeters in total distance above the right atrium. These steps allow you to make an accurate measurement of the JVP that is important for assessing the intravascular volume status in euvolemic, hypervolemic, or hypovolemic patients. In hypervolemic patients, the JVP can be as high as the angle of the jaw. In hypovolemic patients, the JVP may be below the sternal angle.